This is the Sonosite PX. To turn it on, what you're gonna do is open the screen here. And then you're gonna come around back and there's a small button right here that you're gonna press once. You see that light up? And then give it a few seconds and the machine will turn on. You can adjust the screen in a few different ways. You can tilt it right here. Or if you want to raise or lower it, you can press right here. Once the machine is booted up, it will have a home screen that looks like this. Here you will have four options. Go immediately to scanning, enter patient demographics, select a probe, or go to Sonosite's Learning Center where you can review various abdominal scans and learn on your own. This is what the touchscreen looks like once we've started our exam. If you need to add anything to patient demographics, you can do so at the top left. It shows which probe you're on. You can quickly go over to learning mode to review how to do the exam or click through many of the features which we'll go through later. This is the linear probe on this machine. It's slightly larger than you guys may be used to, but it's better for doing lines and blocks. There's a few cool features you should know when using the linear probe. If we go here, we can see procedure mode. If you click it, the machine will not go to sleep or turn off during your procedure. If you like using a center line for orientation, there's a button right here and the center line will pop up. Furthermore, there's also a needle profiling picture. Click this button and a picture like this will pop up. If you are doing a block or a line, you can insert the needle perpendicular to this dotted line. If you do that like so, the needle will appear brighter and be more easy to see. There's a few cool features you should know when using the linear probe. If we go here, we can see procedure mode. If you click it, the machine will not go to sleep or turn off during your procedure. If you like using a center line for orientation, there's a button right here and the center line will pop up. Furthermore, there's also a needle profiling picture. Click this button and a picture like this will pop up. If you are doing a block or a line, you can insert the needle perpendicular to this dotted line. If you do that like so, the needle will appear brighter and be more easy to see. Here's the optimize function. You can toggle between different image settings to get the optimal image. If you want higher resolution, click res. That'll make the picture better in the near field, but your probe will not have as deep a penetration. If you click gin, the machine will automatically try and balance between having good resolution and appropriate penetration. The cool thing about this ultrasound is that if you forget any of the things that we've learned, you can just click on this icon right there and it'll tell you exactly what each button does. There are a couple more controls that might be useful for you. If you click here, you can access them. The main things would be orientation, which you can see here. If you want to flip the orientation marker on the screen, you can do so with these buttons. Now the image is flipped and the orientation marker is on this side. If you want longer or shorter video clips when saving a video, you can click this button and change it exactly how you'd like. If you'd like to adjust the gain, which for simplicity is the brightness at various levels on the screen, you can have the machine do that automatically by clicking auto. Or if you prefer to adjust it yourself, you can raise and lower the brightness here. 
When you do that, it slides the gain tool over on the right. If you're feeling extra fancy, you can change the gain in the near field, far field, and mid field to be as specific as you'd like. But in general, that's not very useful for us. If you'd like to raise or lower depth, you can do so here. You'll see the depth changing on your screen. This machine has all the same functions of a standard ultrasound, and those things can be found here on the bottom right corner. If you'd like to take a picture, click here. If you'd like to freeze the image, click the snowflake. If you'd like to take a video, press here. This far right square will have some standard options to choose from as well. 2D picture is just going to be your standard image. If you click the C, that will give you the opportunity to have a color Doppler. If you click M, that'll give us M mode. And if you click D, that'll generate a Doppler. You can use the touchpad here to change those things. Let's say you have a cool image of an artery and you'd like to take a closer look. You can go ahead and click the freeze button. When you do so, the image will freeze. It can be hard to get the exact image that you want. So you can toggle through a clip of the image to get exactly where you like. Once you've found where you like, if you would like to annotate the screen in any way, you can. We can click here, ABCs, and it'll show us some preset options, which may or may not be relevant. Here, we can click thrombus for the purpose of education. If you'd like to click on it, you use the touch screen, hover over, and click select. If you want to edit it, you can come up here and you can change it to anything you'd like. Keyboard will appear. You can delete and click artery. And that will appear on the screen. If you want to measure something, you can click caliper. You will see two hash marks on the screen. You can move those, then click select, move the other one, press select again, it'll freeze it, and it'll give you measurement over here. If you click on the learn button, you can see a few different things to choose from. Most of the useful stuff for emergency medicine will be under acute care, but there's a bunch of other interesting tabs as well. If you're interested in doing a fast exam for a trauma, you can click on it and a video will appear that'll show you exactly how to do it. You could advance the video using a the touch screen. Superiorly as the probe is tilted toward the patient's head and appears as a thin. If you would like to scan along on a real patient while watching the video, you can click this a button right here. Transducer with an abdominal and you will exam be able be to scan used. as you watch the, patient the video. Is placed in if at any time you need to review your patient list or look at old scans from the prior day, you can click here. You can find the patient name or patient identifier and click on the scan. Then you'll be able to click on the exact clip that you want to review and you'll see a larger image on the screen.